Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. We're still right here stuck in sector 12 after I finished the first eight tasks in I think four episodes. So that's an average of two tasks per episode and let's find out if I can keep up that pace to go through the rest of this sector in, the, in this and the next episode. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Remember, we start off with 4,444 uh, points here right now, so uh, if that's not a lucky number, then I don't know what is. Let's have a look at this task. We get in an array of numbers, and we're supposed to return a boolean. So, in this case, I'm supposed to return false. In this case, I'm supposed to return true. So, first thing that comes to mind is that in this array, there's a number that is bigger than the, the, its successor, whereas here, there's no subsequent number that is bigger than its successor. Just while guessing, you may find the expression false useful on this level. Thank you very much. Um, whatever. So maybe I just want to go over this array, starting with actually the second element. So with i equal to one, smaller numbers dot length and then say if numbers i is bigger than numbers i minus one return false else return true in the end just a while guess but let's see what kind of test cases he generates for us out of this okay that's apparently not the whole truth because um, apparently I messed up the implementation. I, did I get this the wrong way around? If the subsequent thing is bigger, oh yeah, I got this the wrong way around. If the previous one is bigger, then I want to return false. Otherwise I want to return true. Yeah, and actually this time I got it right, so I only reversed the uh, the the condition here and I'm right on track to finish two tasks in this very episode let's see if I can keep this up so next task is an array of words and I'm again supposed to return a boolean value and I'm supposed to return true if this array contains all the same values and false otherwise so maybe I just go over here in the same fashion, say starting with the first element, going to the last element, and then saying if not the words i equals words i minus one, then return false, otherwise return true in the end, because then all the elements of the array are in fact the same. But apparently that is not what I am supposed to check here. So what else could it be? Maybe it's a prefix check? Maybe it's a prefix check saying that we have a starts with here because AA actually starts with A but A doesn't start with I and in the in the case where we had the AA in between the subsequent A doesn't start with the AA so would match all the test cases I've seen so far and let's see if that's actually right yeah, looks pretty good, but it's not the complete truth yet. 
I am supposed to return true for this example where I have a i's and a ba in the end, which is really interesting. Okay, so this is apparently not the right condition yet, but this now confuses me a little. What else could I do? It's apparently not a prefix check here, although the prefix check kind of kind of worked for all the previous solutions uh, for all the previous test cases. So maybe it just excludes the last element. Just while guessing here right now, maybe just exclude exclude the last element, but. I'm not that confident that this solution actually works. Let's find out. No, it doesn't. Because I'm supposed to return false for this one here. Okay, guys. So as you can see up here, I actually figured it out in the meantime. Uh, it took me some while and the help of my flatmate. Thanks, Ingo, for that. Um, Actually, it turns out the test cases generated here are contradictory, or at least there's a solution to this task that uh, should not fulfill these te this test case. If any of you should find a solution to this task that actually fulfills this test case, please let me know. I would be really interested in see how this works. But for now, I stay with the solution I found by... Um, fiddling around for a while and trying some things out. In the end, turns out we can do this. So doing a contains check, which of course works for all the things where the prefix thing worked. And um, even though in this case, there is definitely not a containment of AI in the string BA, somehow if I compile that, um, it works and it even gives me the full skill rating for this task. So I'm not really sure. He's not generating the uh, test case anymore now uh, that failed before. So I cannot really tell you if he uh, just misses this test case with that solution or um, if he somehow magically believes to have resolved that. But Anyways, um, this is the solution for the task. Uh, if it took you some while to figure that out, I guess that's no shame. And I hope that the next tasks will be a lot easier. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.